We've chosen full containment tanks for this site, which are the safest form of containment uh, currently in the world. And they're designed to resist a magnitude 7 earthquake. They're also designed to resist any impacts from any failures that occur on site, any fire, ex any explosion hazards. So they're actually very, very safe containment structures for our LNG. The engineering of the tanks starts with determining the location of the tanks, the size, the volume, the numbers uh, to meet the requirements for the facility and to provide sufficient storage buffer to meet the shipping needs. Tank construction starts with the placement of the select fill. Once that's all fully compacted, we start to place reinforcement for the base. Okay, the tank itself basically has a series of skins or walls, if you like. There's uh, three, three layers of wall. You have your outer concrete wall, you have a carbon steel liner wall, then we have a nine nickel steel inner shell, which is the containment tank. The, the type of vessel itself dictates how you build the roof. Uh, an LNG tank, for example, with a large dome roof where you need the big cavity space, Really the only way to build these tanks is to build the roof inside the vessel on the ground and then lift them up. It's probably the, the biggest lift we'll have on the project, but ironically it doesn't involve any cranes. It's using simply three fans pumping air, similar to what you would do pumping up a car tyre. 80 metres in diameter and 842 tonnes of metal to be raised somewhere in the region of 37 metres and all we're using for that is one quarter of a PSI. Three hours later we're ready to weld the roof into position. We have 24 welders all ready to go. The guys will hop down off the ring beam onto the roof and onto the uh, compression ring start to fit the roof, when it's fit, the signal will be given for the welders to start welding. As soon as the welding is complete, we can then decrease the pressure, which allows us access to the insides of the tank. This entails the installation of the secondary containment tank, which is a 9% nickel, and which is the, the main containment tank. Bechtel and QGC sat down as a one team and went through a risk assessment process. High level areas included safe access and egress to the tank, um, being able to work within the bird cages on the outside as you see, uh, dropped objects, uh, working at heights. We're going to introduce 90,000 cubic metres of water. Water being twice the density of LNG, that's more than sufficient to ensure we've done a proper structural test. It's basically our guarantee that the LNG tanks are structurally capable of holding the LNG before it's introduced. Tank B is a, a significant milestone and we're really starting to make progress in time for starter commissioning later this year and production of LNG in 2014.